hoping that the Antiquarian Book Fair here will become an annual event. There are events like this all over the country every year. So even though we call it the Tennessee Antiquarian Book Fair, out of the dealers that we, we had in attendance, only one third of the dealers were from Tennessee. Two thirds of the dealers were from outside the state. We had people from as far away as Vermont, Florida, Ohio, many different states. In fact, I think 12 or 13 different states. And we were very fortunate to get some of the best known and most respected dealers in the United States. A number of the dealers who attended are members of the Antiquarian Booksellers Association of America. Well, I'm Tom McGee, and I'm the owner of the local bookstore here in Cowan. I call the Book Break. I'm a lifelong bookworm, and uh, over the years I've attended uh, a number of Antiquarian Book Fairs as a dealer, and I always enjoyed meeting dealers and talking to them about books and, and the finer points of collecting books. It's focused primarily on those who collect different types of books, modern first editions, mystery, science fiction, history, religion, all the different genres that people might collect. So it's designed primarily for collectors, but it's also hopefully designed for people who are considering starting a collection but don't know what they want to collect yet and maybe they don't know how to go about building a collection. These days a book fair is one of the best ways to learn about the different genres and the different books. Looking at a book on the internet is not the same as holding the book in your hand and talking to the dealer about the author, about the book, about its significance. So I believe that antiquarian book fairs are going to grow in popularity because the internet has caused dealers and collectors to lose that personal touch. This gives them an opportunity to come and just focus on the antiquarian books. We had some really wonderful speakers. We had one gentleman who is the world's foremost collector of C.S. Lewis books, and his name is Dr. Edwin Brown. In fact, he's written a book called In Pursuit of C.S. Lewis, where he recounts his life experiences of pursuing first editions, British and American, over the last 30 or 40 years. One of the other speakers we had was Dr. Michael Bradley. He is an expert on the, the history of the war between the states, especially in Tennessee. We also had a uh, prominent collector speak to us about the basics of book collecting. Nashville attorney Larry Woods and Larry has a personal collection of over 100,000 books and really the perfect person to help the novice or the prospective book collector learn the important points when you're starting out. And then we had David Coe who is a prominent uh, science fiction fantasy writer. In fact he just wrote the novelization of the movie Robin Hood starring Russell Crowe and uh, Kate Blanchett. Also, we had Dr. Christopher Bryan from the School of Theology at the University of the South speaking to us about the authority of the Bible for the church today. In the beginning, it was an oral religion. It was, you know, the, there were people preaching the gospel long before the New Testament was collected, uh, the letters and the, the different uh, gospels. Why Cowan? Well, Cowan is really a wonderful place. The fact that the venue was within a three-hour drive of several major cities, Atlanta, Birmingham, Nashville, Knoxville, Huntsville, and so on. The other reason is, is that the venue was perfect, 30,000 square feet of air-conditioned space, low operating costs, and that's the key. The dealers could come here and sell their books, and you know it didn't cost them a lot of money. But, you know, if it weren't for the train, Cowan wouldn't be here. You know, Cowan started in the uh, early 1850s as a rail for the Nashville and Chattanooga uh, Railroad. The railroad has always been an integral part and a very important part of our community. And, you know, we have a lot of advantages here for any type of fair or show. We have terrific parking here. Customers and collectors can come here and park for free. Everything in Cowan is close together. And so you don't have to walk very far uh, to get anywhere. So we're trying to uh, share the information with collectors, prospective dealers, and we're also hoping that it will tell people more about uh, our community and some of the advantages uh, of our community.